Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be all about the Blackstone. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys so many different recipes that you can try on your Blackstone. If you don't have one, I definitely suggest getting one. I got one for Frank for his, I was gonna say birthday, but it wasn't for his birthday, it was for Father's Day. And we, before we made this video, we did a few recipes on it or a few dinner meals and we were like, okay, we've got to film the rest of the dinner meals that we make on it, well, at least a few, for this video to share with you guys because I feel like everything tastes better on the Blackstone and it is so good and you can make so many different things. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and it gives you guys so many different ideas. All right guys, so this is gonna be our first time attempting fried rice and chicken, kind of like a hibachi meal. And the only thing I didn't get that I wish I got was some zucchini and some onions to saute, but I have some veggies for the rice. I have some corn, edamame, and peas. And then I just made some five minute ready rice, about six cups, so, or no, three cups, so that's six servings. And I just put it on a baking sheet to dry. This is gonna be for the fried rice. And then we have some shrimp that Frank's already peeled and deveined. And we have just marinated in this sauce, this teriyaki sauce. And then we did the same thing to some chicken tenderloins. We just cut it up, put the sauce in there, let it marinate for about, I would say, both have marinated now for about three to four hours. And then some soy sauce for the fried rice. I think the only thing I don't have here right now is the eggs to scramble. Once we get the rice going and we add our veggies and the soy sauce and get it going on the grill, then we're gonna add our scrambled, or not our scrambled, our eggs to the rice, scramble it up a little bit. So we're actually gonna have to do this in the garage because right before we started cooking dinner, it started raining. Frank's grabbing the propane tank right now. What? I know I shouldn't have moved it. I should have left it on the picnic table, but I was afraid the kids were gonna knock it over. Oh, yeah. So then I hit it over there. So technically, this is our third time. Would it be our third time okay. using? Fourth, I think. Fourth time. Oh, it's already getting foggy because of the humidity. Fourth time using the Blackstone, like ever using it. And I actually did get this on Amazon. Funny story. I last minute forgot about Father's Day, like two days forgot. So Amazon Prime came and saved the day and it was actually delivered on Father's Day. But then I didn't realize that it needs a cover. So then I had to get the cover for it too. So anyways, it's all squared away now, but I'll leave a link down below for the Blackstone that we got. And then I'll also link the cover for it as well. So like I mentioned before, this was our first time attempting the fried rice and hibachi chicken. You guys might hear Fletcher in this voiceover a little bit. I have him underneath my feet and he's over here working with me. But this is our first time making it, so we kind of just winged it. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it was so good. It turned out really, really good. Um, the only thing that I probably would have changed, and we'll get to here in a second, was with the fried rice, was probably adding the soy sauce before the veggies. I think the only reason why Frank did that is because, and it, started, it still turned out good regardless. Like I don't think there's really any particular order. I would just save the eggs for last. I think the only reason why he did that was because our veggies were still frozen. So I don't know if there's any particular order. We just did our rice first and then we added our veggies and then we added soy sauce, but then we ran out of soy sauce and ended up adding teriyaki sauce. So I think it's just your preference on whatever you want to do or you add, go for it because honestly it turned out so good regardless and I don't think you can really mess it up. I mean, maybe you can. The only thing I would do or suggest, I should say, waiting till the end to do your eggs just because you don't wanna do it towards the beginning when you're still heating everything up and cooking your veggies and your rice and then your eggs are just getting overcooked. So Frank just ended up making a little pocket, scrambling up the eggs in the middle of the rice and then once that was cooked, just mixing it all together. I also forgot to mention that you wanna make your shrimp towards the end because it does not take that long to cook, but this is how it turned out. We will definitely be making this more in the future for dinner and Frank wanted to show you guys how he cleans his Blackstone as well he didn't show it in these clips but he has an actual griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner and I don't mean like seasonings like paprika and garlic powder like an actual seasoning because you have to season your griddle and your cast iron just to make sure that it lasts longer and it also keep it in great condition but sometimes Frank will just use oil vegetable oil he used olive oil but vegetable oil is good at 
seasoning your cast iron and your griddle as well. All right guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast on the Blackstone. So Frank actually grated all of these potatoes by hand and we put it on a baking sheet to dry and we've been like patting it with paper towels and I think he said he's gonna put some seasoned salt and black pepper on it. He also has his olive oil spray. I think the only thing that we're missing is butter for our pancakes. We're making some Bisquick pancakes. We got this little handy pancake squeezy contraption off of Amazon. I've seen the ones where you can pull the handle and drop the pancake mix down. Those are pretty cool too, but I went with this squeezy. So we put, I think, two cups of yeah, two cups of the baking mix, one cup of milk, and then two eggs in here. It also comes with like a little wire shaker ball, so it mixes all together. It says it makes 14 pancakes. I don't know if that's 14 big, average, small. I don't, I don't know. Probably like that. Yeah, probably. So we're gonna probably make pancakes that size and see how much it makes. Got two packs of bacon over here, and then last but not least, our eggs. Frank started to make some scrambled eggs. I said, wait, hold up. We're gonna use these little egg rings to make our eggs. I saw these on Amazon as well. So instead of doing scrambled eggs, which we could totally do on the Blackstone, we're just gonna do little fried, fried eggs and these little rings. So got everything laid out and ready to go. What you doing first? Uh, this is a lot of potatoes, by the way. Should I? I don't think we needed as much potatoes. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's, it's only okay. four potatoes. There's only four potatoes? Only four potatoes. Okay, so four big, Rusted potatoes will get you all of that. All of this. Um, so I was thinking we got a lot of bacon to cook and we got a lot of pancakes to cook. So probably get those going first. I would hit those two first and then I don't think these are really going to take that long. So well, we'll see. And then the eggs, eggs are eggs. Yeah, eggs probably will save that last. for last. Also, everything that I show you guys in this video or talk about in this video, I will definitely link down below. I'll even link the exact Blackstone that we got. Now, there's so many different kinds. There's like really fancy ones with like built-in air fryer, everything. Obviously, we don't have that. We just have a simple one that we love so much. I feel like our food game and dinner meals have changed. It's a game changer for us, but they do have fancier ones. But I have noticed too that they must be becoming really popular because I noticed that they were sold out. I was trying to find one for my dad for a birthday, Father's Day combination gift, and they were sold out so many places. I ended up finding one at Walmart, and I think they were even upselling them as well because I only paid, I would say around I think it was a little under $200, but then they were going for the same exact one that we have for close to $400. So they are really popular right now. They have, I feel like, blown up. I don't know if these are a newer item. I don't know. I just saw, I follow people on TikTok and I just saw how much they love theirs and how many different recipes they make and how good their food took, turns out. And then Frank was talking about wanting to get one. So then I got him one and thankfully I got it in time because now you can't even find them. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. I just looked and tried to link the one that we got and it was sold out and temporarily out of stock. So I hope you guys find better luck if you guys are getting one. So this next recipe is our all time favorite, favorite dinner to make. We make this almost about once a week and that's buffalo cheesesteak. So you're just gonna need some ribeye steak. We get ours cut at the deli. So we get like thinly sliced. Now I don't put mine in a bun. I actually just kind of eat it in a bowl with the rest of the ingredients. But Frank loves these hoagie po' boy rolls. You're gonna need some buffalo sauce. This one is our favorite. And then some Chicago seasoning or sometimes we like to use the Montreal steak seasoning. And whatever kind of peppers you guys want I'm using some bell peppers and onions to put on the top and usually I just do peppers but this time I decided to change it up and get some mushrooms to go on the blackstone as well and saute them up and put them with my cheesesteak and then your favorite cheese we love to use provolone and then I forgot to show this as well but Frank also put some Laurie's seasoned salt on the ribeye steak as well so it's actually a really easy recipe I say easy but I'm not the one that's making it what I guess I'm trying to say is I've never made it before because I've always was intimidated by it but Frank makes it, he makes it look so easy and it turns out. And you can even do this in a cast iron or we have like a cast iron griddle that we put on our stove. That's how we used to make it before and it turns out just 
as good, but you're just gonna start out by obviously cooking your meat. He goes ahead and seasons it and then sautés the peppers and the onions. We need one of those little lids that you can put on top because you can even steam and cook all different kind of veggies on the Blackstone. So I wanna get one of those lids because that would work perfectly with putting it over the veggies and kind of getting it to steam and cook all together. So after the meat is all nice and cooked, that's when Frank will add the buffalo sauce. We love it extra spicy so we put plenty of buffalo sauce. Or if you don't like it spicy, you don't even have to add any kind of buffalo sauce at all. That's totally optional and up to you guys. Like I said before, I am not a huge bun person, but Frank is, and I know probably a lot of you guys are as well. So what Frank will do is he'll add a little bit of butter down onto the griddle and then put his hoagie roll right on top of there and get it all nice and toasted. And lastly, you are just going to add your cheese on top, let it melt, and then it is finished. I will just eat the meat and the cheese and my veggies in a bowl, and then Frank will add his meat into his hoagie roll, and he doesn't like any peppers, so we're like the complete opposite. But if there is any recipe that you guys are gonna try from this video, hands down, try this one. I'm telling you guys, it is so good. You don't even need a Blackstone to make this. I promise you guys, you will want to have it at least once a week. For tonight's dinner, we're doing some smash burgers and I got my seasoning in here. We're gonna do some onion powder, Lowry season salt, some garlic powder as well. We're gonna to do to the kids some hot dogs, some mini tater tots. Of course, we got our buns here. And then Brittany decided as a side, we're gonna do corn on the cob on the Blackstone as well. Yeah. Oh, she's juggling. I don't like to use burgers, buns, or hamburger buns for my burger, so. Back to lettuce. lettuce. And then I also- I even picked up these nice like bakery buns. I just not a bun, like a huge bread bun kind of person. That's impressive. And tomato. Oh, and can't topping. forget the tomato. So this is gonna be a first on the Blackstone as well as the Smash Burgers because I'm not really sure how this, is, how this works. We're experimenting at this point. Yeah, so at this point you guys, all of this is experimental, right? Some of you guys will probably already notice that we are primarily using butter. You do not have to use butter. You could also use vegetable oil. I think for the smash burgers in particular, the recipe called for butter, but the other recipes, you don't need butter. We just decided to use it because it, honestly it tastes better and it's not the healthiest, but it is what it is. But this was another very easy recipe to make. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing is we're using this cast iron press for our hints why it's called smash burgers and you can season it however or season your burgers however you want to frank i believe is using onion powder and i know he showed it before onion powder garlic powder and seasoned salt i believe Also, if you're wanting to eat this a little bit healthier or low carb, I definitely suggest putting it in a lettuce wrap. I just put all of my condiments in there, give it a nice wrap, and it's good to go. All right, so for dinner tonight, we are making some tacos on... The Blackstone again. Again. Because this is a Blackstone video. This is a Blackstone dinner recipe. Got our shaved meat over here. There's an airplane going above. So it might be a little 
obviously a little loud. Frank put some butter down first, and we're gonna use some garlic powder, some red pepper, aka, I always say this the wrong way, cayenne pepper, hey, you got it. salt or pepper, and some salt. That's all we're using. Actually, this is my brother Connor's recipe. He's the one that told us uh, how to make it and how to season it and everything. It's our first time Come making on, it. it be I hope that it's good. And we didn't get the, you know how we showed in our Philly cheesesteak part or recipe, how we get it from the deli? Yeah. They weren't open when we got it. So we're just trying this to see if it's any good. That is like the same thing. It's just thinner. A little bit thinner. Which is fine. I just got to chop it all up. All right. So you said I got to do this from the heart, right? Yep, season it with your heart. Oh gosh. I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just dumped the whole thing. Connor didn't give us accurate seasoning yeah, portions so or measurements, so we're just gonna season it with our heart. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Just season it until it's okay. Well, maybe maybe not that much pepper, Frank. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm new <laughs> with this. He said, "Cook until it's really crispy too." Really crispy. Really crispy. All right. So here's the fun part. How much pepper? Ooh. Is it hotter than the chipotle seasoning? A little bit, yeah. Don't do not do too much. Or do too much, I don't know. I like spicy. And he said, make it crispy. Cook until crispy. All right, well, we still got a little bit. A little flip. A little flip. And you guys don't have to do it this way. You can also get like chopped up steak or chicken. I mean, you can pretty much do any kind of taco meat that you want to. Maybe even some ground turkey, whatever right. you want to do. That would be bad. Yeah. Or chicken. Chicken would be good too. Chicken would probably be really good. Like I cut up some or chopped up some cilantro we have limes radish I'm the only one that likes radish so I just have enough for me some white onion Frank just put the tortillas here we have our meat and then we got some salsa verde to put on top and now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our tacos Honestly, you guys, I was surprised of how well all of these recipes turned out given it's our first time making it on the Blackstone. Everything turned out so good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let us know if you try any of these recipes or if you want to see more recipes in the future on the Blackstone, let us know down below. And again, I'll leave everything in the description for you guys, all the links and products that I mentioned and talked about in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.